Williams may have died of a fentanyl overdose inside his Brooklyn penthouse on Monday, leading police to launch an investigation in an effort to find the actor's drug dealer, according to NYPD sources. TMZ reported, citing unnamed law enforcement sources, that police were trying to find the person or people who supplied Williams the drugs. Williams' death came just six days after he posted a message imploring his fans to not cry for him. This comes just less than seven months after Williams revealed that he started therapy for the first time after being deeply affected by his role in Body Brokers, his final film, which delves into the shady underbelly of Rixie drug treatment facility. Williams who was said to get lost in roles by friends and colleagues, said that doing the movie, where his character is involved in a multi-million drug rehab scam, made me sick to my stomach. But the problem was they were calling me over Williams's character name from a wired and not Michael. On Monday, Williams's nephew Arvance Williams told DailyMail.com that his famous uncle was excited about jetting to Los Angeles to attend the Emmys in less than two weeks' time. Williams was best known for his role in The Wire, which ran from 2002 to 2008. More recently, Williams earned praise for his role in last year's drama, Lovecraft Country, for which he was a favorite to win the award. HBO said in a statement following the news of Williams's death, saying, We are devastated to learn of the passing of Michael K. Williams eventually enrolled in New York City's National Black Theater, and kick-started his career as a dancer, scoring parts in music videos by Madonna and George Michael. Things changed immediately after that, Michael Williams told NPR during a 2014 interview. Williams was open about his struggles with drug addiction. During his years filming The Wire, Williams relaxed. This was, I would say, around the third season of The Wire, Williams told National Public Radio in 2016. Williams struggled to stay sober during the remaining years that he filmed the show. Hearing my name come out of his mouth woke me up. Williams recalled in an interview with the New York Times. Despite his ongoing drug struggles, Williams enjoyed continued success following the conclusion of The Wire.